a machinist friend of mine named Tim came up with a shotgun slug design and he took that same design and applied it to seven different metals. They are identical dimensionally, but of course each metal has its own unique properties. In this video we're going to focus on the copper slug that Tim designed. Now Tim has his own channel and he started to do a lot of his own shooting tests too to complement my videos and he also shows how he fabricates these unique rounds. Now we have three of these rounds to shoot and we'll shoot at this ballistic gel backed by a wooden block. <laughs> wow. Now we had just lubricated and cleaned this shotgun so there was still a little residue of oil in the barrel and of course that messed up our camera shot. However, we have another shot here showing more of a side profile. Darren made a nice clean center shot on this ballistic gel and it didn't even slow down the slug. The slug continued and stuck into that big wooden block behind it. Copper part two. Hit it. Ooh. I think it was a clean shot. Hit it. Ooh. Here we set up three computer hard drives. People have asked us to do that before because we've shot big rows of cute computer hard drives before. And uh, Darren got a nice clean shot on that, hitting the platter where we usually try to hit it, not the center. Now with these tests, what we're looking for is how well it tracks through the air, um, how durable they are when we pull them out of the objects we shoot them into, and of course we want to see how accurate they are. Will they tend to curve and yaw around? Well, that's what we're looking at. Copper versus box of sand. Hit it. Nice. Hit it. Nice. <laughs> okay, what does a one ounce deer slug do? Okay, deer slug, hit it. <laughs> oh, a little harder. A little bit. <laughs> now, a lot of people have wanted to see some kind of comparison with something factory like the Federal deer slug. Understand that both of these rounds are one ounce, one's copper, one's lead. But you can see a difference in how much uh, sand is being displaced. The deer slug definitely kicks up a lot more sand. And you'll see why that is when we pull these two rounds out of this box of sand. We can also do a side-by-side -side speed comparison. We know what the rated velocity of the federal deer slug is, 1610 feet per second. And we can actually see with our eyes and not rely on a chronograph to see that the copper slug that Tim made is just slightly slower than the federal deer slug. Okay, let's dump the sand out of the box and see what those rounds look like. And here's our copper slug, still very recognizable. Uh, a lot of powderized sand, but we could actually reload that and shoot it again if we wanted to, and we will. And here's what's left of the lead deer slug and it's all mushed out and that gives you an idea why the splash was bigger it dumped its energy faster as it came to a screeching halt so let's reload that copper slug and shoot it again this time we're gonna shoot at a very thick solid lead plate it's five eighths of an inch thick uh -huh. Wow <laughs> hit it Now even though this round was previously shot, we were able to shoot it again and it went right through that thick lead plate. Now we actually thought this round had a chance of bouncing off that plate and sticking into that wood block, so that's why that wood block is there. Now this round we did not recover so we can't show you what it looks like afterwards, but we recovered the one out of the wooden block and also the one stuck in the computer hard drive, so let's see what those look like. It's a nice clean hit on the platter. Looks like a drill hole. 
I mean, it, did, it wasn't, it was, it was not going sideways or anything. Nope. And then there's the slug. It's kind of holding onto the platter. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, we can probably get that out of there. Yeah. Yeah. It's stuck in there pretty good. There you go. Ow. Look at that. Look at it. It's, it's bulged out a little bit. Yeah. The nose got crushed a little bit. Yeah. Well, it was crack. already flat. That was a crack. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Man, that thing the, hit hard. This. And then this, this was the, the drive it went against there. Wow. That was a hard hit. Now I split open the wooden block and the round went in about three inches, even after going through ballistic gel. And that's about eight centimeters or so. Now to me, it's pretty remarkable that a soft metal like copper going close to 1600 feet per second and going into three inches of wood would even be recognizable still. You can see the, the thinner side walls are really bulged out, but still, it's, we could shoot that thing again if we wanted to. Now we still have a few more of these rounds to go through, so stay tuned for those. And in the meantime, if you haven't seen our playlist featuring the rounds that we have shot, check it out. And I just want to remind you to check out Tim's channel too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.